I think what people will be surprised by when they watch Undone is that it's animated, yes, but it has real depth to it. It's a hybrid between live film and animation, which was really hard for me to wrap my brain around. And then I got to see some of Hisco's artwork and it was explained to me that that would be the backdrop. This is a mixture of oil paintings, 3D animation, 2D animation, rotoscoped animation. Hisco, who's our director and the primary artist on the project, has such a vision and he's so specific that you can't help but trust him. When I read the scripts for Undone, I immediately realized that we could only do this with real rotoscoping. So rotoscoping is the process of drawing on top of video. It gives the creators and the writers that opportunity to write anything. I think Undone works in the uncanniness of the reality, but the unreality at the same time. And I think that puts you into her mindset in a very visceral way, that you can actually sort of experience it the way that she's experiencing it. There's a moment where I am running down a corridor at the hospital. I, I'm, I'm freaked out. I'm running, I'm running, and I pass myself waiting at an elevator bay. You're arguing with yourself in this dreamlike state, but it still feels genuine. It still feels rooted in reality. Hisco's team has made an excellent storyboard to help us out and give us a, an indication of what it's going to look like before we build it. They did their shoot and they've provided with this amazing shot where the main character is just running through space. The camera tilts around her, it's dynamic. The next step is we take that camera and we put it in 3D. It's not a painting yet, so we have a layout that shows us what the hallway looks like. We have a team that Hisco leads with amazing painters and they make this hallway. We take that hallway, but it's a painting. You cannot move a camera through it yet. So we combine the painting with our 3D scene. A rough version looks like this. It's like you're watching, I don't know, like a comic book, but a movie, but it's so real and the acting is so good and it translates through the eyes. I thought if we use rotoscoping, then we'll get all the little micro expressions and all the real acting. We're basically acting to nothing in a box and we do each scene like many more times than you do on television from all these different angles. You might have seen the grids that we have in our live action footage. Those grids are used so we can perfectly match the cameras for every single shot and guarantee that whether the end result is a painting or a 3D background, it's going to match our live action. When we create a 3D layout for the painters, for some locations they need to be made completely in 3D. What happens is we will send a layout to the painters, they will make a painting for us and we can use that as a reference and we can use bits and pieces from this painting to create a 3D rendition of the location. The cast, the writing, the process. We all like to mix genres, mediums, and we're all attracted to disrupting normal processes. Working with someone like Hisco Halsing, who is just a, a, a brilliant mind. I get chills just thinking about it. I think it's going to change television.